And we're back with WSJ Lunch Break and Wendy Bounds. What are the top five homeowner regrets? Well, a new survey out by online real estate information service Trulia highlights several contenders. We Right now we've got with us Jed Kolko. He is chief economist for Trulia right here on Lunch Break. Hi. Thanks Let's for having us. See if I have any of these regrets you guys have, have come to. Before we get to that top five, you guys say the bidding war is back based on some of the survey uh, research you've done. That's right. We're seeing prices rise in almost all of the country. And when we ask consumers if they think this is a better time to buy this year than next year, 75% think so, but only 32% think it's a better time to sell now than next year. Impatient buyers, yeah. patient sellers. <laughs> there are risks to buying a home in a competitive market, obviously. That's right. And in, to reflect the competitive market, we did a survey of consumers about their biggest regrets, both homeowners and renters, what they regret most about their home or the process of choosing it. All right. Since I'm a homeowner, I wanna, I'm going to be biased to start there. Uh, number one, now I understand this one. I wish I'd chosen a larger home. Now, I just wish I'd chosen one with more closet space, but maybe that's the same thing. Yeah, the top regret of homeowners, and remember, half of homeowners had at least one regret about their home in the process of choosing it. The number one regret is people wish they had chosen a larger home. And that's even though Americans do tend to buy big homes, uh, but Americans, most of them, who have regrets, wish they had gotten a bigger home than they have. And they wish they'd done more remodeling when they bought the home than they had, which I thought was interesting as well. That's right. So those are two ways in which homeowners tend to wish they invested more in their home rather than less at the time they bought it. Of course, it could have been tough over the last four or five years since we've been in a, in a sort of down economy. Difficult to do both of those things, buying more than you needed and also uh, doing renovations. But uh, putting more money down for the, um, for the down payment, I thought that was an interesting one. That was one of the regrets as well. That's right. That means people both wish they had invested more in their home, but also wish they had been a bit more financially conservative. People also wish they had borrowed less against their right. home and being just fi more financially secure in general and have, knowing more information about the home. I thought those were two interesting ones. Renters having their own very interesting set of regrets too. Um, the number one being what? The top regret among renters is they wish they had bought instead of rented. Interesting. Yep, and that's very different from homeowners. Very few homeowners say they wish they had rented instead of bought. So that regret tends to only go in one direction. All right, just quickly to tick off a few more. They wish they'd bought it. They rented a larger home. That seems to be universal, been a little bit more financially secure. Um, and chosen a neighborhood with a shorter commute to work. That's an important one. That's right. Yeah. We asked about several different neighborhood regrets. The biggest neighborhood regret was people wish they had chosen an area with a shorter commute. Yeah. More people said that than less crime or better schools. I'm with them. I got a 90 minute commute each way. All right, Jed Kolko, thanks, Chief Economist. Truly appreciate you being with us.